Circuit. So Caitlin Ross tonight spoke to a Navy couple who is facing just this battle. Kate? Shannon, that battle gets more complicated when it crosses state lines. In this case, the mother here in Jacksonville, the father in Virginia Beach, but more complicated still when military is involved. It's hard to be both parents at the same time, you know. Dominique Mathis says she's pretty much a single parent since separating from her husband last May. Stationed in Virginia, she says he hasn't seen his son since October of 2011. Looking back, you know, at that, I saw red flags. I just didn't. I was in love. The pair met and married while both were enlisted in the Navy in Virginia. After they separated, she moved back to Jacksonville to raise their son, and he stayed. Around November, I started asking him, hey, you know, the, things are kind of tight. Can you help me? Well, I'll see what I can do, which that isn't a sufficient answer when I know your gross pay is almost $5,500 a month. As a first class petty officer, she says her husband's getting additional money from the Navy for being married and having a child, but she is not seeing any of it. She says since their separation, he's only paid $200 a month, a fraction of the 2,471 a month the Navy says she's entitled to. She's had to rely on the Navy Relief Fund to help her pay for basic necessities for her son. And they gave me $50, a $50 voucher, one, and one time in particular, they at least go buy pull-ups and keep food in the house. Frustrated, she contacted Navy Legal Assistance to help get her husband to pay up. They issued a stern letter to her husband's command, asserting he owed her $24,000 in back pay. Repercussions for the sailor could be serious. In the letter, Navy Legal warned his career could be in jeopardy. He could be denied promotions, re-enlistment, or ultimately let go. You would expect more. You really would. And, you know, from somebody that's a service member and somebody that's a former service member, I'd expect more, you know. But that's as far as it goes. If the command won't force the sailor to pay, it will take a court order for him to comply. In the meantime, he still gets paid for having a wife and child at home that he's not supporting. What are you going to war for if you're not protecting the people that you're fighting for? I spoke with a father on the phone who told me a $200 a month paycheck is all he can afford. And without a court order, that's all he's willing to pay. Reporting in the newsroom, Caitlin Ross, First Coast News.